China is making fake libraries now. What you're seeing here is a library in Tianjin, China, heavily promoted by not only the Chinese Communist Party state media, but also armies of propagandists working for the state. There are just two issues. Firstly, it wasn't designed in China, but rather by Dutch architects. And secondly, definitely more importantly, this library is fake. And although it looks though it's full of books, in reality the books are wallpaper, fake, complete trickery, and a facade. Before we get into this absurd fake library nonsense, a quick word from today's sponsor. Do you know what data brokers do behind closed doors? Right, let's do it. Profits. Sell that data. Spam that man. Spam calls, phone calls. Open up your mailbox. Yeah, we're making profits. You cannot escape us. We're data broken bros. When you browse the internet, when you click on accept a cookie, when you sign up for some or other service in a shop, your data gets sold to data brokers and data brokers then sell it to other people. But there is a way to get your name and personal information removed off of these lists and that is Incogni. You see, they do the fancy footwork and all the hard work for you. There are thousands of data brokers out there. And for you to go after each one and legally request for your name to be removed would be incredibly time consuming and costly. But Incogni does it for you. You give them permission and then they will, on your behalf, send legal letters to all of these different data brokers to get your personal data removed. If you're tired of junk mail and you want to get rid of all these targeted adverts and take your privacy back, Go to incogni.com forward slash Winston and use the code Winston to get 60% off. Protect your privacy today. Go to incogni.com slash Winston and use the code Winston to take your personal data off the market. And now back to the show. China is addicted to mega projects. It's a great way for the government to justify overspending on pointless endeavors as they look good and give China a better international image. The problem with these mega projects is that China, being the land of shortcuts and facades, leads to many of these buildings being substandard and once completed, poorly maintained, lacking any real practical value or use. Let's look at another Chinese library propaganda fluff piece, shall we? Okay, so I've actually been to Guizhou, not far from here. It's a very poor area and I'm very pleased to see that there is something being built here for the public. Kinda wish they didn't have to destroy the environment so much to do so though. But wait, when you look closer, you'll notice that it's not teeming with locals lining up to read books in a cave. And there are a few reasons for this. Firstly, the poor people in this area don't have the leisure time to waste. They're too busy trying to survive. Many of them are illiterate, and of course, even if they did have the time or ability to take advantage of this cave library, look at the piss-poor selection of books on offer. I mean, how many books are there? Only a few manky-looking books arranged as a display, and the plastic-wrapped ones on the shelves are, well, when looked at closely, honestly, it's a pretty pathetic and meager selection of books. Even these CCP dudes making their inspection don't seem enthralled with them. But remember, 
Books are not what this library is all about. It's a propaganda effort and tourist destination. The kind of place to go and take a selfie. Let's go back to that Dutch-designed library in Tianjin again, because I seriously need to address an elephant in the room over here. And that elephant is the books themselves. I found this recent video on YouTube of a foreign traveler doing the whole, wow, let's look at the impressive Dutch library in Tianjin thing, and nothing against this guy, just a travel vlogger. But one thing to note is that although all the books are fake wallpaper, they do actually have a few books down on the first few shelves. But what sort of books are they, hmm? Let's see. Report of the Quality of Life in Chinese Cities by the National Institute for Economic Experimentation, 2015 edition. Yay. That has to be one of the worst, most boring and useless books I've ever come across. A Chinese government book guaranteed to put you to sleep. I mean, they've got graphs and everything. And this is one of the only English books you will find. Not that that's important. This is China. You don't expect them to have a lot of English books. They will all be in Chinese. But we have to talk about the fact that the Chinese government heavily censors books. So not only are the books going to be boring, they're also going to be limited to what the government approves. And well, that's not going to be any fun, now is it? There are huge lists of what the Chinese government bans online. But suffice it to say, anything political, Radical or forward-thinking is off the list. Anything religious or edgy? Nope. Book censorship is so harsh in China that people get arrested for selling books that were published outside of China. And in fact, China has sent agents into Hong Kong to kidnap booksellers. You can get into serious trouble taking a Bible into China because only the Chinese Communist Party censored and modified version of the Bible is allowed. So we need to come back to reality here. The aim of China's propaganda is to make people think that China is somehow far ahead of the West and to make people think that China is far more powerful and capable than it really is. And this library propaganda is framed in such a way to make people believe that while other countries build up for war, China is building knowledge and facilities for the people. In fact, China is currently gearing up for war more than ever. Not only with its neighbors, but also with the entire world. Recent leaks of cyber attacks against countries like the USA are on the rise, with China targeting critical infrastructure, sending out their warships into the South China Sea, claiming more and more territories, having more and more border incidents with India, and infiltrating foreign governments and military. Don't be swayed by the nonsense propaganda you see on social media. A hollow mega project with no practical use other than a tourist destination for Instagram photos is nothing other than a distraction from the real issues China faces, as well as what China is doing to the world. Do better, China. I'd love for you all to join me on Friday for the live show I have where we talk about everything coming out of China, the latest news, the fun stuff, the serious stuff, and everything in between. And until next time, you know the drill, as always. Stay awesome. Mm.